guys, well, it looks like we're back in business. Uh, I managed to straighten out, straighten out the uh, stator. Um, went over it. It's salvageable. The only thing I'm probably not going to do is I'm not going to put the hulls back in. So, if you need an instructional video on how to do that, you're out of luck. Uh, okay, to get the rest of the windings out, I just basically passed a screwdriver or a drill through the uh, windings to loosen them up. And it worked. I lightly tapped them out, and that's what was left. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm going to be using Tapcon tape as an insulator, um, which will work pretty good. I've seen a, I've seen a Russian uh, guy do it, so it, it does work. Um, I'm using a, well, how I do it anyway, is I'm using a really thin piece of um, PCB. And um, um, let me put this on the my chest uh, holder and then I'll show you what, exactly what I'm doing to make it work. Okay, hopefully you can see. Um, now the problem with sticking this in here and just going like this doesn't really work because it'll start to pull the tape out of the uh, next slot. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in here like this and then put your finger on the cross like that, stick it to the uh, stator and then move on to the next one, hold it up, push it in and then do the same thing and then move on to the next one this way it keeps the one that you just tucked in from uh, unfolding and uh, you continue to go on from there and you're wondering does it leave enough slack in there it leaves a, a lot of slack in there actually for for um, winding as you can see there's a lot of slack in there it's perfect and uh, it'll have protection from the slot when you're running the wire in this way as well as uh, uh, protecting the wire around the stator on this side too so it'll work so let me uh, get this out of the way and then we'll uh, we'll move on to the uh, winding part of it anyway well that's it it is done as you can see all the slots are full um, like I said it will protect the um, the wire going into the slot as well as on the sides so this will actually work pretty good um, I wasn't too sure if it would work but like I said I saw a guy in Russia rewind a, a stator like this and it uh, worked all, all right for him so if I have to put another layer on the uh, on the outside I will but um, I know when when I'm finished the winding what I have to do is I have to peel all this outer layer off or I could leave it there if it'll, if it'll fit between the magnets, but I doubt it will. It'll bind. But uh, that's all I'm going to do for today. Um, I spent a good chunk of the day getting it prepped, straightening it out, and um, making sure that it's not bent. Getting all the copper out of it, what was left of it. I had to end up using, like I said, I had to end up using a drill to drill it out. It was that packed in there, and baked in there. <laughs> and I rewound the wire the wire being double the thickness of the stuff that was originally in there. Um, I have four strands versus seven. There's no way you're going to get seven in there. Um, I know people are thinking, oh, you just have to double double the wire for double the VA or you know the power of the motor. It's not going to help because if you double the wire, you have to double the stator. You know what I mean? You're still going to end up. Um, uh, running it into saturation where it's just going to produce a lot of heat so you're better off just to like I'm like I'm using a thicker strand of wire that might give you a little bit of a boost but um, no uh, I, overwinding it is not going to give you more power so just get that out of your mind right now um, if you want more torque or more RPMs it, it depends on how many turns per pole you have uh, I'm still going to try and get at least six or seven turns, or five or six turns, of this stuff here. This stuff uh, should be good for about, I'd say maybe 30, 35 amp. I'm not going to, or even 40. I'm not going to run anything more than that. I'm not going to overvolt this. It's basically for my dual motor setup. So, but uh, I'll make this a vlog. This is going to take a while, guys, and it'll be easier on me than trying to get it all in one video. So if you're looking for a alternative to insula uh, for insulators, um, you can try Tapcon tapes. Later, guys.